up, everybody? It's Tony Lopez here with Alternative Living Spaces, standing alongside Lisa. And we're on her property right here in Pahrump, Nevada. Yep. A really amazing property. It's really cool to see what you've done with the place. Thanks, man. Uh, tell uh, the viewers a little bit about uh, what's going on here. Sure. So actually, you know, um, Tony was actually a big part of this project from the very get-go. Before I even purchased this property and thought about it, I actually met with Tony. And we started kind of developing what these things could look like. And what we've developed here is a small Airbnb that is based off of a campsite. So um, <laughs> the reason I love this idea is because I'm not very much of a camper. And I need a bed and I need a bathroom and I need little luxuries. So what we've accomplished here is for you to be able to enjoy the luxuries of camping, the campfire, enjoying the stars, and still get the luxuries of what you would have at home. And Tony's made that possible with the projects that we've done on this one and with everything that we have planned for the next one. So that's kind of what it. we're doing. People come here to go to Death Valley. Pahrump's a really popular town for our wineries. So we have locals like that. And then families, of course. So like we're booked out for the holidays for sure. So if you are trying to book, please book early. Uh, don't anticipate that you can get a spot because we are very popular at that's, this point. That's good. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, uh, maybe first off, so your property here, so you have a main home on the property. Yeah. And then you purchased this property because it had RV parking spots. Yeah, right? yeah. So we were grandfathered in because these RV spaces were already here. Uh, the property was set down in like 1995. Uh, Pahrump actually had no building codes back then. Uh, I'm a local realtor as well, so we have a good grasp on what we're allowed to do, what we're not allowed to do. Um, and because we are just doing Airbnb, there's no full-time living situation, it is allowed for us to be able to continue doing this and allowing the people to come and enjoy our property, enjoy Death Valley, because there is not a lot of places to stay in Death Valley, so yeah. it's very minimal. And if you're down for a 30-minute drive, uh, you can hit Shoshone, and you can hit uh, the Delight Hot Springs. I mean, we have so much that you can do while you're out here outside of just hiking and being in the heat. So. That's great. <laughs> and I think it's cool because it's like you have your main home on the property, and then what a great way to make some additional income. Absolutely. So that's a goal that I have for anybody who's purchasing real estate is to think about that additional ADA because we are hitting a time where the economy, it would be nice to have some extra cash. You know what True. I mean? And really you're providing a service because hotels have gotten to the point where, you know, the experience isn't the same. And if you could pay literally the same thing and have a full experience to yourself, why would you not take that option to not go into an elevator, to not, you know, have to deal with a room key and to not have that experience that's going to have you building memories? Why would you choose that when you can be somewhere like this? Yeah, <laughs> and it's so unique here. I mean, it's a really cool just landscape with the large pine trees. Yeah, that's why we do it. It feels yeah. really nice. Yeah. Um, and what's cool about Lisa's setup is she does have basically uh, three different units on the property. Tell us a little bit, the one that's behind us, mm -hmm. maybe first question is how long has this one in particular been on Airbnb? So we've been on Airbnb in uh, October, it'll be a full year. So we are at the peak season. So this is the first time we're experiencing summer and we haven't had any bad reviews on it. So the AC unit that you guys put in this thing, the split unit, it handles the heat really well. And because we are tiny and we're well insulated, um, when you walk in there, it's, you know, it's, it's an ice box if you want it to be. So, cool. um, and you still get to enjoy the stars because summer nights here are gorgeous. That's awesome. You know? Yeah. How is it in terms of this one in particular? Um, how's the demand been for it overall? Do you feel like it gets rented out pretty consistently? Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, we've been at about, um, I'd say, at a range of about eighty-one percent occupancy to ninety-five percent occupancy That's on great. those cooler months. So we can't even describe how. <sighs> How appreciative we are to the people who are coming to enjoy this property who have made it successful and who have you know kind of brought us to this place where we are at that kind of occupancy kind yeah. of people hope for that kind of occupancy when they're doing it so this project alone um I guess we'll explain it a little bit more. It's different than just an average Airbnb because it's considered a niche market. So these little niche markets and container homes, these are things that people want to be in, want to stay in, want to see. So having the opportunity to have them come stay a night before they either A, invest in it, right? If that's mm. really what they want to do. Because yeah. a lot of people are just interested. They're not really invested. Yeah. So they come and they stay. They see the size of these things and they're able to experience it, but not put any more thought process into it but the ones that really love it the, some of the people that we have had come they've it's kind of changed their whole perspective on their living situation to wow. where 
living tiny can be an option. And luckily in Pahrump and Nye County, we're having big conversations right now, probably the biggest conversations in Nevada, is we are hoping to create a tiny home zone. So in that tiny home zone, it's going to allow us to place X, Y, or Z amount of tiny homes to create more affordable living for our veterans, for um, elderly community, for people that need housing. So it's going to give us an opportunity to actually do what it is you've been trying to do and have a place to put them. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. So cool. It is. So. Yeah, this has been a long time coming. I feel like I started doing tiny homes about six years ago. And at the time, I didn't realize you couldn't just build one and put it anywhere. Like, I literally built my first home. <laughs> Me too. Like, I we learned. Yeah, we learned. And then it became very, you know, very aware, very quick that, like, wow, I can't put this almost anywhere. Yeah. And so right. it's, it's amazing that more and more counties are loosening up regulation. Yeah. Um, and even, like, your approach of getting a, a home that has the RV parking spots, like, we do a lot of units on wheels, and we've noticed that's a good way to get around building code mm -hmm. and allow for a smaller house mm -hmm. and do an RV model. Uh, well, super encouraged, really exciting to see the progress you guys have made here. Absolutely. And I know our audience, you know, we have a lot of people that tune in that are interested in doing something similar. You know, they might live in the Midwest or Pacific Absolutely. Northwest. Yeah. They just want to make some additional income and they're trying to find different ways to do it. Mm -hmm. So I think you provide so, a really good model. Absolutely. And we can help with that project anywhere. So if you're anywhere and you see this video, you can call me or Tony from anywhere. We'll connect and we can find that piece of land that you can do that on That's great. immediately. We can find it with options of owner will carry. We can find it with financing. These things can be found. You just got to reach out to me and my team and we'll set you up with what you need to be able to duplicate this. Because my goal is to be able to pass this on to anyone, not to just hold it for myself that's, cool. that's for sure and i love it because land is everything like i say yeah. usually the two biggest barriers for someone to move forward with a tiny home is where can i put it and how do i afford it absolutely and for you to have that ability to help them find mm -hmm. the right property it's that's really cool yeah so, yeah we can definitely do that. awesome lisa well right. i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you lisa absolutely guys and we'll see you guys on the next one all right